Perhaps it's the distraction from a daily struggle that's attracted so many people to the first public screening of a movie in Yemen since civil war broke out. Tickets costing $2 are selling well despite the broken economy. Ten days before the wedding stands out because it's a Yemeni production, a love story that takes in the war with many of its effects. Rasha, whose wedding plans nearly fell apart because of the conflict. Falling incomes and rising prices have a big effect. Her fiancé, Mamoun, struggles with different issues, raising a dowry, for example. We wanted a movie to show what's going on inside the houses of the city and the whole country, how families are affected by the state of the economy, how the hopes of young people also collapse. Everyone is worried that if something simple collapses, then everything will collapse with it, the whole house. We try to portray the mental state of the Yemeni people. Those viewing are impressed. I heard that this is a beautiful movie, so I came with the family to watch it. Having a movie made in Aden is more than just entertainment. There is a sense of pride here about the production. When you compare Yemen to the rest of the Arab world, we are maybe more than 100 years behind on producing movies. But this is a milestone, and I hope the government and the private sector will continue to support such projects that help to create a cinematic awareness. The makeshift cinema in Aden isn't set in the main conflict suffered elsewhere in Yemen. Pro-government fighters recaptured the city from Houthi forces three years ago. But there have been frequent attacks by a wide range of disparate fighting groups since then. This movie may be a form of escapism. Out of it, though, comes one small hope that a vibrant young filmmaking industry may emerge from this conflict. A war that some people feel has no end, unlike the movie. Andrew Simmons, Al Jazeera, Djibouti.